another Carrie Stevens Featherwing streamer for you today. This is the Artula. Very handsome little fly with the uh, green hackles and the black on it. Pretty st standard Featherwing streamer in terms of how it's all put together and the different parts to it. I just thought it was a very pretty fly. Instead of a red band on the head, it has an orange band, which she did do on some flies. But it's pretty straightforward. That's the Artula. I'll go ahead and get started. Begin the Artula with my hook on the vise. This is a Mike Martinick 8x long size 4 streamer hook. I'm going to debarb the hook. I'm going to attach my thread for the first thread I'm using is a white. This is a UTC 140 denier in white because I have an orange floss body. I need to start in white. I'm going to attach my thread a couple eye lengths behind the eye of the hook and wrap downward putting a nice base layer of thread. You don't have to put the base layer of thread but I find it helpful primarily because the darker color of that hook will actually show through some of that white thread. You want to try and preserve the bright colors of the orange floss as much as possible. So if I put a layer of white on now and then I get a layer on when I'm getting the body tied in before I wrap it on, then I can mask over that darker hook a little bit. Using the 140 denier because it's a little bit bigger and I can cover a little bit uh, more of the hook shank uh, a little bit faster. So. I'm going to wrap down to about a quarter of a shank length away from the point of the hook. That's where I'm going to tie in my tag. Tag on this is a silver tinsel. I'm using a Wopsy Mylar tinsel. It's a silver and gold tinsel in a size 12. I'll tie that in with the gold side up. Continue wrapping downward to just to the point of the hook. Then I'll wrap back up. Now I'm going to put just a half a drop of head cement on here, and this is going to help to reinforce the tag a little bit so that when you're fishing this, it will last a little bit longer. This mylar gets broken when you're fishing and it just comes right unraveled. I'm going to attach my hackle pliers to this. It gives me a little bit longer reach. And then I'm going to wrap forward, just slightly overlapping, put in the tag. Secure that in, and then I'm ready to tie in my tail. Tail is just some orange hackle. You could use a rooster saddle if you have something like that. I'm just going to use a little bit of orange schloppen. Strip some barbs off one side of that feather. Just to give me a... It doesn't have to be super thick. I'm going to tie this in about a half a shank length long. Doesn't have to stick off the bend too much. Now I'm ready to tie in the rib. Rib's going to be the same material. It's that silver gold mylar tinsel size 12.
I'm going to tie this in with the gold side up. One wrap to secure it. Then I'll tie in the body. The body is a floss. I'm using a Danville four strand rayon floss in orange. I'm going to get a good 11 to 12 inches out here because this body is a little bit longer. You certainly do not want to run out of floss in the middle of applying this body. I'm going to pull this down so that it's inside the body. Then I'm going to wrap forward. I am going to take the time here to flatten my thread out just a little bit, at least. Primary reason for that is that it will cover the hook a little bit quicker. Make certain we're not twisting that floss around on the hook shank. I want to make certain it stays on that one side so that nice and smooth. You could use a heavier thread if you want to for this. And then this 140, if you wanted to uh, use a 210 or a 3 odd or something like that, you could certainly use something heavier. And then when you get up here and we switch to the black thread, then go down to something a little bit lighter. But I find the 140 denier works well. We'll wrap that all the way up. I'm actually into the head space a little bit, so I'm going to back off. And now I'm going to apply that floss and then I'm going to apply the silver tinsel for the rib. It's not so important in terms of the number of wraps that you put in. With your wet flies, classic wet flies, it's five wraps of the rib. But on these, it's mo more important that they're evenly spaced. So I got 10 wraps right in there, primarily because the tip on this is a little bit longer and in front of the point of the hook. The body extended all the way back here, it would have been about 12 wraps. And typically, that's what I find I get is anywhere from 10 to 12 wraps. If you want them a little spaced out a little bit more, by all means do that. Make certain they're all fairly even. Now I'm going to change over to my black thread. I'm using a Wopsy UTC Ultra Thread 140 denier in black.
Maybe a little wax on my thread. And the uh, Artula has a uh, belly on it, and the belly is white bucktail. I've already cut out some white bucktail, and I've got it in the stacker. You want maybe about a quarter of a pencil, maybe two, half a pencil, not even that much. Generally, the bellies on these streamers are just a little bit of bucktail or a hackle, something to kind of suggest that you don't want it to be really super thick. I'm going to make that the same length all the way out to the end of the tail. Tie that in. Make certain it stays on the underside. And then trim away the waste. There is a throat on the Artula, and it is brown hackle. I'm going to use some brown schloppen for this. Again, if you've got some rooster saddle, that works for you by all means. I'm going to tie this in. I like the ropes to go about halfway down the hook shank. Maybe a little bit more if I were to measure this half a hook shank. That's where I'd tie it in, but because the head's so long on this, it's a little bit further back. At least the tips are a little further back than the halfway point of the hook. One thing you do want to be certain that you're leaving yourselves at least two, maybe even sometimes to three eye lengths behind the eye of the hook when you're tying these materials in because we have the wings to set in on this. And we're going to need that space to really mount those in very well. I'm smoothing all of this off. And I'll be ready to tie in my wing. The wing on the Artula is two green hackles, one black hackle, and a cheek of, uh, or the eye is a uh, jungle cock. There is no cheek or shoulder on this. So I've got my wings already pre made. I'll match those up. The excess rachis on all of these that's together, I'm going to cut that back. I'm going to separate these a little bit right here so that I can bring these down on both sides of the fly the hook. I want the barbs and everything to be up on top here, but I do want I do want those hackles to extend down below the shank of the hook here, not all on, on top. Get those in so that they're straight back. Now I don't know if you can see it or not, but my Wings have kind of slipped around to the sides of the hook here. So I'm going to unwrap those and bring those back up on top, together on top like this. You don't want them on the sides, you want them to be right up on the top, but they will go down the sides of the hook. One more time, I'm going to try and wrap these in. You can see on the underside here, this one wing right here, instead of being straight out this way, is kind of cocked a little this way. I don't think in terms of fishing this, that really makes that big of a difference. Now we have it a little bit flatter against the, the belly there. But with those secured in and right where I want them, 
I will finish by cleaning all of this up and making the head of the fly. Generally, the heads on all of these featherwing streamers are a little bit long. You can certainly make it a little longer if you want to, and even a little bulkier. Some people will tie these and bulk the head up here and then paint eyes on them. Typically, Terry Stevens flies did not have eyes on them. But she did like to put in a band of color. Often it was red. Sometimes it was orange, and on the Artula here, it is an orange band. I'll flatten my thread out, and I'll put in a whip finish to smooth off the head there and secure the thread. Cut away my black thread. Now I'm going to attach my orange thread. I'm using a Danville 6 aught in orange. Often I like to, when I tie these, use a brighter orange, maybe a fluorescent orange or a fluorescent red, because it will darken up with that black head on there. So if you really do want it to stand out, I find using a brighter, more fluorescent color will help in that regard. My thread's kind of fuzzy there, so I'm going to pull some more thread out. Cut that out. That's a little bit cleaner. Take your time getting this band in. You just want it right in the center. Few more wraps just to cover that up so that that black isn't darkening it. I'll put a four or five turn whip finish right on the band. So I'm going to put some head cement on here. This fly tight will soak down into those thread wraps and secure that head very well. And in a moment, I'm going to come back and I'm going to put a single coat, maybe a second coat. It depends. A lot of her patterns didn't have nice glossy heads to them, but they did have a little bit of sheen. So you could tell there was some sort of varnish that was put on there. Still researching that, trying to find out just what kind of uh, varnish she used on these. But I'm going to throw some Artis Hull on here in just a little bit, and that's going to shrink down. And you'll still be able to see the thread wraps, but it won't be super smooth, but it'll be a little bit more secure, and it will have a little bit of shine to it. So that's the Artula. Fun little fly, very basic little feather wing streamer. The wings are your typical construction in this, as well as the uh, the body and the belly and the hackle will throw it on this. Nothing kind of exceptional. That's the Artula. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for joining me at Device today. I hope you learned at least a new pattern, if not a new technique, maybe a tip or trick here and there. If you have any questions about this fly or any of the techniques used in constructing this pattern, please leave them in the comments section down below. If you go to the trouble to ask a question, I'll go to the trouble to answer it. If you'd like to help Dressed Irons, please share this video with your friends and anybody you think that might enjoy this pattern. Until next time, 
remember, it's fly tying. If you're not having fun, then you're doing it wrong. Thank you.